Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Hey, girl. Sheesh. What's up with her? Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Geez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks? Cause leaks. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, Chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little... dense. Mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? 
poor mom, Chatra. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig! No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that way. Careful. Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl? Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with their head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. You'd think this would be the one place you could walk around barefoot. Ooh, downy. Careful, still got some bird mites on them. Ew.
Want to give me a lift? No? Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... what? I just figured... Why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. He didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. I really like your outfit. Yeah. I liked it, too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Just my size. idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. You birds want to help me kill Mogchathra? Hi, birdie. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Hi, birdie. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor.
what are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Uh, last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I'll let you get back to work. Go in lightness, my friend. Good birdie. What do you birds do for fun around here? Hi, I'm Matt. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. What's your name? Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> your dad's pretty funny. He used to be, before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this Lightbeard worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the Feather Vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine.
Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name-brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Can't get up there. Good birdie. What do you birds do for fun around here? Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird. This is all your fault. Hey, bird. You're a jerk. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. That is one heavy-looking egg. Looks like some kind of hatchery. Smells like one, too. Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Well, I'll leave you alone. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Say, that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that.
Hey, then you could make me some cloud shoes that were more my size? Sure. Come back in three weeks. Three weeks? Four, if someone makes me drop my knife again. Hey, can I ask you about your family again? Sure. I had no idea they were so interesting. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Not now that I have my knife back. But you know, the big sticks make them feel important. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a big life crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Hey, girl. Hey, hey. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hey, Father. Father. I'll let you get back to work. May the wind be under your feet. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Maryloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. I could go kill Magchathra? What an offensive idea. No! Everyone would leave? What? No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape, I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment, impossible. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Ah, uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. 
It's part of who we are in Mariloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Why do you have laces and a big bow in your cloud? Oh, why, uh, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. Mm. So light. Light there. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help? Don't need them. Nowhere to go. Hi. Hi. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Look. I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was well, me. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like my... I don't like the way that one's looking at me. I don't want to climb up there. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. What do you birds do for fun around here? You guys want these golden eggs back? No. We like to keep them spread out around Mariloft. Bring too many of those eggs to one location. And well, that's a lot of... Chit. Gold! No, come on. Duh, yolk! Pounds per... Pounds per square egg! Per square inch, correct. Well, I'll see you two later. Want a free egg? No?
That is one heavy looking egg. This big old heavy egg won't do any good there. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. I can't eat it. It's made of gold. It looks like some kind of hatchery. It smells like one too. Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. Let you get back to your work. Watch your. I don't think that will fool her. She is a mom, after all. Sorry, just passing through. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear is on this branch. Get over here and unhook it. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and h help me. Hey. Great. Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it. <laughs> and I thought I was clumsy. empty. This big old heavy egg won't do any good there. Hey, if I give you what? a golden egg substitute, 
Would that help? Ah, it helped me sink to my death, which I don't want to do! A good pair of cloud shoes would keep you out of this kind of situation. I'll remember that next time. If you help me down from here... Hey! Great! Now let me... Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low-hanging branch. Give me some fruit. Dang. Give me some fruit. Dang. That way to the giant fruit tree. some delicious fruit at least I think it's delicious could be poisonous anyway free fruit man that's a big pit Some fruit. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low hanging branch. Can anyone hear me? Are you finally here to help or what? Are you finally here to help or what? Man, that's a big pit.
Give me some fruit. Dang. I don't think it's empty. These things are so big, they won't even stay on my feet. I think she's going through some stuff. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hey, Father. Fathur. Hey, Father. Fathur. I'll let you get back to work. I'll let you get back. Sorry. I cannot handle the donations directly. Please use the bowls. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Ah, uh, losing. Thanks for the help. See you. I want my money back. You may take back any burden you wish, but it hurts you more than anybody. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Up here so high? Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Thanks for the help. Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though they're too big for me. I'll see you two later. Fair Anybody want some delicious fruit? No thanks. Gotta stay light, you know? Anybody want some delicious fruit? Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Want some fruit? From that big tree over there? No thanks. Chipped a tooth on a pit last time I bit into one of those. I don't want to mess with her supplies, especially when they might be covered in bird diseases. Hi. How about some fruit? That big tree? Nah, I'm so sick of that stuff. Hey, welcome back. So what's new? Hey, what? Well, I'll leave. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Nah, I don't want to lose them even though they're too big for me. I don't think fruit would help there. Hey, knock it off! Those hooks are an important safety feature. 
Sheesh, that was rude. Uh-oh, it sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Carl was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Big deal, bird. Like I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and. On second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Looks like some kind of hatchery. Smells like. Want some fruit? Nah, not hungry. Also, I don't like fruit with pits. I don't think fruit would help there. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Well, I'll leave. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Hey, Father. I'll let you get back to work. Go in lightness. I don't think fruit would help there. Jessie's egg. Better get this back to her. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. Place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Um, 
Hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Hmm. Million pounds per square inch in new buoyancy. Hey, Father. For third. I'll let you. Bombs away! Hang on. Don't move. Bombs? How shiny the sun is. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? I do have feelings, but you didn't hurt them. That old spruce then. Or maybe, hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Listen, about that big mess upstairs, Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Three more wishes. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Man, he is really afraid of Santa. No, trees. Oh, like that makes more sense. I don't think Curtis will miss this much. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. I could get used to carrying an axe around. Feels nice. 
Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Hmm. Do I want to help this tree talk or not? I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murderer! Axe-wielding psychopath! Right here! Shh, shh, shh! You'll wake up the other trees! She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Please don't scream anymore! You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchathra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along, and the next time I see her, she's a... Oh God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it! What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her! Turned her into a... A stool! Oh, oh God! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump! I'll let you get back to your... Hello, Shell Mound. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Wood. So smooth. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Okay, let's try it there. Nice inversion, Clarence. Okay, okay, so far, so good. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that?
because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Did you say there might not be a Maiden's Feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away! Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child! You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds, with a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist, or a girl wearing half a dress? There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Come on, Clarence! We're running out of time! We have one like that back home. For making upside down cakes. That's good. Okay. Is this your secret stink for attracting Mog Chathra? Uh, it's my grandmother's traditional cocktail of musk, pheromones, and animal sweat. And I'm not sharing it with anybody. Well, I don't need it anyway. Daddy says I exude it naturally. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chothra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's 
always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Moggs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. See you maidens later. Ciao! Stranger approaches. I sense it as well. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. The dead eye god sees no one. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Psh, no problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Did your god bring any... Miracle objects that were, like, weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more! Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. 
Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Halt! The dead eye god sees no one. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay. Such strange shapes in here. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. Guess this is where they buried their old god. That symbol is so strange but familiar. What is that a symbol of? A three-legged bull? I don't think that will fit in this socket. I don't think that will fit in this socket. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed. Like a socket. I don't think driftwood would help there. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. I don't think that will fit in this socket. Maybe these people worship donuts? The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. I don't want to desecrate these ancient writings. Those girls outside have sticks. I think climbing up on their god's tomb would be frowned upon.
Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Nice inversion, Clarence. Halt! No one is allowed in the Maiden's Feast area until it is built. Which at this rate is going to be never. Nice! You know, I think this one looks like it could... Not again! My mayoral race is riding on this. No, oh, in the villagers' lives, too. Hey, you taking a break, Clarence? Move in a little bit. That's good. Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. But at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. Go that way. Got it. Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Can I have it? No way, man, that thing's vintage. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical, but unique. I've got just the thing. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to, if only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool, I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age too. Check it out, non-talking wood. 
Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital... Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh. Sorry, did that upset you? You monster! It's too thick to use in this spray can. I may not like this art piece, but I don't want to ruin it. Why ruin this pretty crystal sun? I don't want to get it stuck. I'll let you get back to your school. I found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this. Give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's Laruna? 
That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Bits! Careful with that device. If it's hooked up wrong, it can be very destructive. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes, you broke my amplifying quartz, remember? I'm going to replace it, I swear. Okay, I took it out, but I thought it looked good in there. It's almost as if you're trying to get my ship to overheat. bad for swiping this laser coil. I should probably put it back. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. There. It's back. Safe and sound. I hope you put it in the right socket. Otherwise, the scanning beam could overheat. Nailed it. Hi. Hey. Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts, but if I can get them all, I should be able to get something working. As a weapon? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Get my ship working so I can get out of here, I mean. I haven't started on the whole weapon thing yet. Let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Hey, dead eyes awake. Haha, <laughs> right. When the dead eye god rises, we'll know. We are his most devoted followers. Plus, there will be like fireworks and reporters, probably. Definitely. What is that strange symbol I see all over the pyramid? You mean the Gamethus? That was the sacred symbol of the dead eye god. It is said that in his day, the Dead Eye God would draw the Gamethus for all his followers. It was very important to him, and so we worship it to this day. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. This 
pyramid has a very unusual top. Hey, so do you. Have you ever considered wearing a corset with it? Don't make me come up there. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. No, my right. Sup, maidens. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not gonna give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not gonna give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Hey, maidens. I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha! Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. See you maidens later. Ciao! Okay, okay, so far, so good. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? No way. I'm not becoming seagull bait. <laughs> Ugh. Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great, ow! Great idea. What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chathra about you, Drusilla. Nice and <laughs> Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Marshall Dune? Mm -hmm. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Now, if there only was going to be a Maiden's Feast. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? You can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> Can you hear me up there? No, no, not like that. 
I don't think that would help the arena get built. Wow, the sap is super thick. Okay, lift it up slowly. No, that doesn't need to be any thicker or stickier. Excellent. Sure. Let's cut this ribbon already. The ribbon is... Not again. Okay, not a problem. Just stop. Marshall Dune? Mm hmm? How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart. Better let you get back to the... Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. I guess it's showtime. Wait, I'm not ready yet. What? Well, I owe you one, so I can stall for a little while, but hurry back. I can't keep the beast from coming. Be right back. I have to get some sort of powerful weapon before Mog Chathra gets here. You made it! Yeah! After you took that beast hooker away, they eventually left us alone. Thank you so much, non-maiden. See you maidens later. Ciao! Shh! Here she comes again. Hey, dead eyes are by. <laughs> Sent. Hi. Hey. Any luck so far? Okay, see you. Such strange shapes in here. On second thought, I don't like it there. I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. Hey, what are you doing? I found a replacement for your quartz thing. Maybe, but you put it in the wrong socket. You get that order wrong and you'll melt us down into a sad little puddle. Okay, I took it out. But I thought it looked good in there. It's almost as if you're trying to get my ship to overheat. I feel bad for swiping there. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it. On second thought, I don't like it there. Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful, weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. Okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this?
Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts, or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from Steel Bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. Ready when you are, Marshal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. Recognize me, don't you? Do it! Even its eyes are armor plated. He must have a more vulnerable spot. I can't reach! He's got both my arms tied up. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but now I need to find a more vulnerable spot. What's the matter? Afraid I'll kick you again? I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. This way! Follow me! Drag hit it! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Hit it, dead eye god! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. You're just a big, fat, floating lump! Dang! The hide's too thick! I'd love to throw my stool at him, but I doubt it would hurt much. I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide! Got your number, Mom Chathra. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back. No good. Even his arm. No good. A more vulnerable spot. 
Drag your saggy old tentacles this way. Take the shot! One. Now! It's not going to work. We need to wait. I'm here! Deflects my shots. Now! And now I need to find a more vulnerable spot. Take the shot! I don't think I'm getting through that thick hide. Do it! Ooh, sounds like that hurt. Take the shot! A slap on the wrist. Fire away! Hold still! Now! Take the shot! Too much. I short things can surprise you. Ha! Whoa! 